All right, everybody, we're going to get started here. So staking options, real simple. Um, you know, hopefully this is educational for you guys, especially starting out. Remember, um, some of you older trappers have been around a little bit. Uh, this is what Jinx uses, not meaning that, hey, what I do is perfect. Whatever works for you, that's great. Uh, but this is a good option for you guys to try. Um, some good ideas, perhaps. Maybe you might be able to pick up just one thing or two things that Jinx does that maybe you want to change with what you're doing. Uh, maybe you never heard it, heard it explained that way. Maybe there's something different. But there's, there's always something in it for everyone. Um, if you have an eager mind to learn and listen, I'd be glad to show you what I'm doing. So... We're going to go through and do some staking. So I'm going to do some disposable stakes for you guys. Uh, during the off-season, September, you know, is the time where I like to get all my traps done. I get all my gear lined out because October is when I want to start scouting um, and getting my land set up and getting a plan in, in line. But for about September, uh, which is about where we're at now, I've got to get organized. And if you can tell, guys, Jinx is not organized i am far from trapping season my shop is a mess uh it's embarrassing so but anyways we're going to do some disposable staking jinx likes to use the pogo method and uh it's no big deal if you don't like pogo that's fine you could do wolf fang there's there's hundreds of different ones out there i'm sure but i like the pogo mostly because i can make my own stakes and it's cheap um i buy these uh stainless steel fender washers and if for some reason i can't get them through the trapper supply i can go down to my local uh automobile hardware store it's called fastenal here and i can buy these these are stainless steel they're fender washers this one is what i use for the land size right here it's a smaller one i want to say it's two inches no it's an inch and a half so an inch and a half this is my smaller one now my water ones are going to be bigger I usually buy them through my trapper supply, but I could get them also through my my local, and they're they're a little bit bigger. So you can tell the difference in the size, uh, just because I think this one that one's an inch and a half. This one's probably yeah, it's two inches, a little bit bigger. Um, mostly I'm gonna use this for my creeks, and then I'm gonna use this one for all my land stuff. So those are the the types of washers that i'm using this system if you're not familiar with the pogo system this is a brand new driver right here so um it basically let me see if i can't do this film at the same time basically it seats in here just like that that's it seated in the seated position and when i poke that down the ground it falls out and then it turns when I pull the cable. And that this system right here is really good. You can't hardly pull them sometimes. Um, and you have to, you do need a puller, which I have a puller around here somewhere. But that's just it in a nutshell. Otherwise, you go back to old school. Old school is what I grew up trapping. <laughs> the old rebar stakes. You know, this one's probably 24 inches. Uh, sometimes for coyote trapping when the ground's, you know, when the ground is, uh, wet, you can double those, <laughs> double staking. Um, and here's a shorter one. You get to pack in rebar stakes, it's heavy. Uh, wood, you could use staples. A lot of people use staples, they staple them on a tray or something, that's fine. People do it, it's no big deal. Whatever works, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not perfect. Remember that guys. I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to help you guys out uh, Water water trapping is a great big t-bar and I, I still pack that stuff in But I don't have to with this system. You could pack a dozen of these my gosh They're heavy. They get to being heavy or you could pack hold on a, second, a dozen of these That's my water one. It's probably a good 20 inches in length so what do you what would you rather do? You want to put these in your pocket or do you want to start lugging these around? So if you're not using the disposable stake the disposable stake system, it, it, it is revolutionary. I, I know when we first started doing it, it was like wow. We saw it in a convention one year and changed everything. It just it was it was really good. And that was 20 plus years ago. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the pogo stake system. Now most, if not all, of this stuff is linked down below in my Kitco. In my Kitco, and when you guys are new, you follow my stuff, 
uh, down below. It's called Kitco. Everything that Jinx uses is down below there. And then it, you can click on it if you want to buy it. It'll go directly to um, Schmidt Enterprises or, you know, whatever company I usually support. So if you want to buy it through them, that, that's, what they're, that's what that's there for, guys. They're there to help you guys out. So here we go. Let's get started. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to get started. I'm going to do this real quick so that you guys can see what I'm working with today. Uh, the tools that we're going to be needing and using for this project are going to be fencing pliers or definitely one of these Essex tools. This is in the Kitco. Uh, cable cutters, that's in the Kitco. And just a regular hammer and a tape measure. What we're going to do, and we will start with the the land one first. Okay, so here are my different... Well, I'm sorry. You're going to need the 330 seconds aluminum ferrules. That's what those look like. And then you're going to need your aircraft cable. It is going to be... 330 seconds wire. That's what I'm using right now. Not terribly... It's just right. So, with the... Uh, the staking system, if you're new to this, this is what this trap here is my land trap setup. Okay, so I showed you the uh, the staking that this was the one we're going to go with this little land trap setup. You're going to attach that to your trap with either a uh, quick link. That's this one right here. Uh, you can get those. Those are down my Kitco as well, and they screw on and off which is what i like to use this one's zinc this one's not very good not very strong but um you can pull on these with your puller and they'll be just fine or you could use split rings is what i like to use as a secondary source so uh to attach your disposable stake to your trap if you want to change out your trap these are a lot quicker than the split links in my opinion but you can pull on both of them with your puller and uh, shouldn't have any issues with your quick links so that's how you attach your your disposable stakes uh, with this trap the nice thing uh, pros as far as using these if you can't pull it you can cut it you can leave these in the ground if you have to it's no big deal that's why i like this system so much Years before when you used uh, rebar, you'd have to get out, uh, you use a puller, puller, or you'd have to get out uh, vice grips and turn it back and forth. It's really a pain in the butt. So this system works really well. Years ago, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background, sorry. Uh, years ago, I started out, I made a smaller stake. This one's probably about, let me measure it real quick seven inches in length this is for frozen ground i'm not going to use that this year this would be like january february grounds hard as a rock it's froze about three four inches problem is that a lot of times the ground would thaw and then i have to change all those out so um my all purpose this is what i call my all purpose it's much much longer probably good four inches longer i measured and cut this at 14 inches um, so that's my measurement. It's 14 inches. Um, this is what I call an all-purpose lancet, which is what I think I'll do is I'll cut out a bunch of these, and that'll be what I'll just cut. Thirdly, if you want a little longer, this was be for my mud, my mud set, or early fall. Now that would be probably get 18 inches in length 17 7 in, 17 inches so if you're in muddy ground if you're in you know you don't have a lot of heavy freezes early fall if you want to cut it this is about 17 to 18 inches so it's much longer than what i call my all-purpose um but i think if i get into mud and um i think i'll just switch over to my water my water trapping this one here is my water trapping. I cut all my stakes at this length. Let me see what the length is for you guys. I used to have them all marked and cut and ready to go. 
but I'm getting lazier anymore. 16 inches plus another inch, almost two inches. That's 18 plus probably about 20 inches, 20 to 21 inches in length. Now, that's my water set. So, and I do that a little bit differently than the land set. Uh, I usually make this hook deeper, longer, and I just go in and through. I don't even use the split stakes on my water sets. That's, that's that right there. And you could do that really with your land sets, guys, if you wanted to. I just made a bigger loop is all. And that tied a knot in the cable. So, you know, you can do that if you want to. Usually in the fall, or usually when I'm doing my land sets, I'll get a dirty trap, whether it be a coyote or just a dirty trap that needs to be changed out. And I find that instead of pulling and having to re redo the... Instead of pulling the trap or the, the stake and then having to redo it, I always find that when I'm doing my land trapping, it's just easier to just change out with this right here. Quick link. So, but, yeah, that's secondary. So, let's get with, uh, let's try this. We're going to try the, um, my all-purpose steak. And I'm using the, the shorter, um, fender washer. I, what did I say? It was an inch and a half. Yeah. This was the inch and a half in size. And then, you use the J-hook that goes in that. I'm going to have to widen that a little bit. It goes through that, just like this. You see, guys? And then it goes into the end. It's really that simple. Uh, and these are easy to make. And that's why I like this system so much. I don't have to depend on somebody to make uh, the, the end pieces for me. You know, because you could buy these. And then these are just a simple J-hook. But that, like I said, that's just how Jinx is rolling. So let's get to showing you how I do that. All right, so this is how I did this. I have my, my regular one. I put a little piece of tape on the end that way. I'm going to use that as a guide. I measured this at 14 inches, I believe. Yep, 14 inches. And then all I do is I come across the cable, hold it with one finger, and I get out my cable cutters. Make my nice solid cut. And there's one. And what I'll do is I'll just cut however many I want. And go from there. Get my ferrule out. Go in one. Gonna make my loop. Just like that. And then I'm gonna hammer it. And all I do is I'm going to hold the end piece here so that it's not sticking out too far. You hope you can see that. And I'm going to flatten it. That's just one little loop. Get a ferrule out. And we'll do the other one. I usually buy my wire in a great big spool like you see on the table. And then uh, that way I have it around. I can always go through wire just like that. Nice and flat. Uh was the tricky part. I'm gonna have to open my have to open up my J hook a little bit. And then it's just gonna go in there like that. And then I usually like to go with the smaller end. Just like that. Pretty simple, right? We almost got one done. And I use my fencing pliers. These are better. Far better than those cheap S hook tools. Voila, all finished. And that's gonna load, see the little short piece? 
and then the J the other end of the J hook goes in there so it'll load and it'll seat in there like that and that's how she goes in just like that and then I'll drive that in the ground and then I'll pull it and I'll set the set that there you go there's my land pogo 14 inches in length from here to here and then this is an inch and a half fender washer that is so easy that's why I like using it simple keep it simple silly kiss it all right that's that one all right so we did our land one and uh bear with me guys uh we're gonna do the uh the water one this was a two inch fender washer it's much wider and it's gonna probably have a little more area uh these do work uh they'll work okay in clay um sand if it's straight up sand i always want to do is i set them and then I, I give them a good pull. Now, if they come up real easy, then I know I need to, to pull them and then try a different spot or move it. Usually, you can move it a couple you know, feet or half a feet and try again. So, always, every time I set my disposable stakes, I give them a good pull just to see whether or not they'll hold. Um, but that's what we're going to go with on that. So, I went with 24 inches and I cut my test piece right here. That's this one here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna just do this to where it's just like that. Hopefully, I'm not boring you guys. Hopefully, you guys find this sort of stuff interesting and educational at the same time, and maybe you're learning something. You always have to think there's somebody that's new on the channel, I've never seen this before, and you're the guy I'm trying to reach, or gal, or whoever. That's the 24 inches. We're gonna go short on one side first. I'm going to pound it. That's the short one. The one thing about these I would caution you on, guys, is uh, the these uh, the barbs that stick out on the end. Try to get them as close to the ferrule as you can. It's a little trick because you always have on gloves. The gloves are expensive. If, if you had a bunch sticking out, I, I don't know. It's going to be hard on your gloves, I would assume. All right, so the second one is going to be the longer piece. So I'm not using anything to attach to my water traps. I use a, a longer loop on the end, just like that. And that way, my... Um, my washer will go through it and then backwards. So all I need is basically that that amount of space So I'm gonna go. It's probably about three inches. I believe Actually, I did measure it I'm gonna go In and back Probably should measure it Just to be on the safe side That's about the same size. I'm going to pound that. Just like that. Finished product. Now, the uh, if you buy these, I know through Minnesota Trap Line. That's where I got these through. And I bet Schmidt's the same way. They the J hooks are already on these, so it's just kinda of, kinda of nice. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oops. And it just goes on the end. Got crimp it. There we go. Finished product. These are so much lighter than them great big giant pieces of rebar. And then I group up a bunch of them and I wire them. And I'm ready to go. Pretty simple. And uh, let me double check, make sure that's going to work. Yeah. 
see see how that works I go through it like that and that's gonna attach the chain of my trap see what I mean guys it's gonna attach right here right there on that that piece of the swivel so there you go all right guys hope you like that little uh how to bit on making some disposable stakes i want to make a bunch of stakes uh might even seem te tedious at times but you've got your water one which is super awesome and then you've got your land one you gotta have these and you know the nice thing about these land ones is that if you're on a you take a little time off you set what everything up and then you maybe you want to come back next weekend or something you can leave these in the ground and like leave this on your trap bed you can maybe cover it up a little bit leave your dirt holes where they are come back next weekend and your stakes are already in the ground so it gives you one less thing to do of course you're going to take your trap with you but uh gosh they're so so handy so nice to have around all right i lost my camera there for a second so hey uh i hope you guys like that piece i'm glad you guys are with me today i hope you guys are loving the channel go through all my beaver trap and stuff Go through all my how-to videos and archive it down below. I'll put it in my what I call my beginner series. So uh, you guys can share that out. You can view it at any other time.